O'Neill Street in Kingston was quiet today, but that wasn't the case on February 4th, 2009. The house at 86 O'Neill was on fire, and two on-duty Kingston firefighters, Andrew Nilsson and Justin Staus, arrived to find out that an elderly man, 93-year-old Gregorio Bonacor, was trapped inside. Uh, we had zero visibility conditions. First and second floor were full of smoke. It was pitch black. We kind of hear the guy moaning in the back bedroom. We crawled in about 40 feet from the front door, and the conditions were getting worse and worse and worse. Uh, we located Mr. Bonacore um, in a uh, bedroom in the rear of the first floor. I literally crawled right up on top of him. Uh, and he, uh, he reached up with his arm and proceeded to rip the hair mask off my face, um, which uh, it got me a little, uh, a little disoriented. I, you know, I said, you know, we got to get out of here quickly because the crap's starting to hit the fan. <laughs> so we, we got him and I just grabbed his arm and then we dragged him out as fast as we could. As soon as we got him out the front door, the hallway lit up behind us. Justin and Andrew's life-saving actions have gotten national recognition. They've received a Heroism and Community Service Award from Firehouse Magazine. And while they say they were simply doing the job they were trained to do, it was still nice to find themselves in the spotlight. My father was a fireman lieutenant in Poughkeepsie Fire Department. So, you know, he, he was kind of proud of that situation, too, so it's, it's nice. Nice when you're tired, be able, be able to put that on the wall, right? <laughs> you could probably put your foot up, too. Reporter Adam Bosch and photographer Chet Gordon will have more on Record Online and in Saturday's Times-Herald Record. Justin and Andrew each got $100 checks as part of the national award. And they're donating the money to a local fire department burn unit. In Kingston, Tracy Baxter, Record Online.